my gorgeous plan people. Welcome back to Reading Mindfully. My name is Iana. And today I am going to give you guys some tips and tricks so that way moving your plants inside will be a lot easier. So let's get into it. Hey guys, like I said, so today I am just giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to move your plants back inside, how to acclimate them back inside and make sure that the, the transition is as seamless as possible. I wanted to go ahead and show you the process of moving the plants inside. Since I did it yesterday, it was a nice like cloudy day and I was like, this is perfect. It's cloudy. It's like, you know, a nice temperature, it's not hot. But my neighbors were having a Labor Day party early and they were going for hours. And so it was just, there was no way I was gonna be able to film it. It was so much noise and everything. So I figured since I already moved my plans inside that I would still make a video, but just to give you guys some tips and tricks. And so, like I said, the first thing I really like to do if I can is to move my plants inside on a cloudy day. And I also like to put my plants outside on a cloudy day. I didn't get to do it this year because our weather was really weird, but at least when I move them back in, I like to do it on a cloudy day. That way it's easier for me because I do have a lot of plants and it tends to, you know, maybe break a sweat. This time I did have some help. My boyfriend did help me move my plants inside so it was a lot easier of a transition. But when it's cloudier, it's easier for your plants to just make that transition inside. And so that way they already are getting less light that day. And so bringing them in inside, is gonna be less light as well. Even if you have a south facing window, it's always gonna be the brightest outside and then it's gonna be, you know, just amount, the right amount of light inside. It also helps for it to be cloudy in case you are spraying any pesticides or any like insecticides, any neem oil especially because when you do spray oil on the leaves and the sun is out or if you have the plant under grow lights, the leaves do tend to burn. So the cloudiness does help that as well. And so one of the things I do is I just go ahead and inspect my plants. I also do this on a weekly basis. And since I was doing this on a weekly basis, I already knew that I didn't see any pests in my plants, but I did go ahead and inspect my plants. I will go ahead and check the leaves to make sure that I don't see any pests on the tops of the leaves or on the undersides of the leaves. If I do, I will go ahead and spray the plant. I make sure to check the stems to make sure there are any pests there. And if the plant has any husk or any sheaths, I go ahead and peel them off because just in case I do happen to have some pests or, or um, you know, some pest hiding, I could prevent um, as much, I could try to prevent as many places for them to hide in. So I will go ahead and pull off the husk. And then lastly, I do go uh, check the soil just to make sure I don't see anything just sitting on top of the soil. One of my plants did have a cricket in there. And so once I started fiddling it, the cricket just jumped out and I was like, ooh. But I do check the, the surface of the soil to make sure that's good as well. So like I said, I'm just looking and wiping down leaves. A lot of times when you have your, pet, your plants outside, you will get like pollen on the leaves or you know, like dust or any other kind of particles. If your places or things are doing comp uh, renovations you might have some dust on leaves so I do take the time down to wipe down the leaves and that really helps out a lot and so a lot of people do acclimate their plants back inside um, they'll go ahead and put their plants near all the windows so they're getting as much light as possible and then they'll move them to the respective places that they want to move them to I just tend to go ahead and just place my plants in my home and then I utilize my grow lights to bring in that additional supplemental lighting. And that seems to do really well for them. I don't have too many issues with moving my plants in and, in and out of the house. And I don't have a ton of yellow leaves either. Another thing that you really wanna do when you're bringing your plants in, if you have an idea of what day you're moving your plants in, I don't water my plant the day before. This helps the transition back in your home even more because then your plant won't be full of water. And then that way when it comes back in the house, it won't have this like rough transition because of course it's gonna use less, um, it's gonna have less energy needed when it's inside because it won't be using so much when it was outside. So I don't really water the day before. 
and then that way I can just bring them inside and not have to worry about getting any yellow leaves or any potential overwatering. I do wait a day or two before I water my plants in the home unless the plant is like bone dry and then I will water it. But I, this also helps not having any yellow leaves, any leaves falling off. I haven't had any yellow leaves so far, and so, so far this transition has been really great. But I found that doing these, um, going through these steps has helped with my plants just transitioning in. As well as, I like bring my plants in early, at least before, you know, the end of summer, because some of us still like to buy plants through the summer, the fall, sometimes the winter. I don't really buy during the winter too much, but sometimes I like to bring my plants in early fall because I like to see where my plants are gonna go. If I'm gonna have enough space, maybe I have to get rid of a few plants or maybe I have to arrange them in a way to make them all fit. But I was glad that I brought them in when I did because I wanted to get a Monstera and before I could really get a Monstera, I needed to make sure that I was gonna have enough space for a Monstera. And so rearranging them in the home allowed me to really see if I could actually fit more plants in here. And so if I couldn't fit any more plants in my home, especially without it um, interrupting like the functionality of my home, without my table being cluttered and me being able to eat on it, if I couldn't do those things, then I wouldn't get any more plants. So this was a good thing for me to see if A, I was buying too many plants, and B, if I could get any more plants, where would I be able to put them? And so this is kind of the method that has been really working for me in regards to moving plants in and out of the home. And now I might put a couple plants outside just for a little bit longer, uh, such as my rubber trees but I'm not really sure. Um, I did go ahead and film my house plant tour, so that will be up very soon. Um, but I discussed in my house plant tour that I really did miss my plants being inside, as well as being outside, they were doing so much growing. And it's to the point where I have to repot a lot of the plants. And that was another reason why I brought them in earlier because they're doing so much growing that it's like, it's a lot to keep up with sometimes because I already have to up pot them and some of them I've already had to up pot. And so my rubber trees especially, I need to put those in bigger pots. So that was another reason why I brought my plants back in because I don't want to have like huge plants by the time they, you know, they come in because like where would I put them or would they even fit in the places that I, I thought that I, you know, like the places that I thought I would put them. So I had to make sure that I had enough space and that the plants weren't too big for my area. But yeah, so those are all the tips that I wanted to give in regards to bringing your plants inside. Again, I'm sorry I didn't film the process, but all I did was like wipe the leaves down. I checked the stems and um, the soil level, like I said. I sprayed if I needed to, but I didn't have any pest issues besides that cricket. And I had a couple like centipedes. Um, but yeah, so that's all I have to say about bringing my plants inside. I just wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks so that way it makes the transition a lot smoother. Like I said, my house plant tour is coming up very soon. It's filmed. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a lot of plants. But I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching my videos, liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.